Okay, welcome along to our video demo of some of the new features in the Lumion add-in for Revit. And the word is LiveSync. So let's have a look at what LiveSync is and how it's going to change the way that you work. To begin with, I'm just going to open up uh, the basic sample project here in Revit. And what we've installed already, as you can see, is Lumion Pro 7.3. And we've installed the Lumion add-in for Revit, the new version released just recently on their website. And it shows up in a ribbon now. And as you can see, there's this new panel called Live Sync. What we need to do is switch to a 3D view to allow Live Sync to work. And here's our kind of boring uh, looking sample project a little bit. Let's see if we can make it look a little bit more interesting. So to begin with, all we have to do is press the play button. Now before we do that, what I'm going to do is go save as project because one thing that will make the workflow uh, nicer for you is if you uh, keep a consistent location uh, for your Revit project uh, because that will allow basically the link between Lumion and Revit to be maintained even after you close both of them down later. Uh, just a real quick glance at the settings in here, basically to do with compression. Uh, you can make the geometry more compressed or, or less for performance. And there's also, it supports uh, shared coordinates, servo point, or a project base point. So let's hit play. One thing that just amazed me uh, initially was how quick this went into Lumion. Uh, I mean, I like Lumion, I'm a, a real fan. As you can see, it's kind of waiting, so we're going to start a new scene. Um, and I like Lumion because it's really elegant, really simple. It's a great tool for architects and designers. So you can see how quickly this uh, models come in from Revit. A couple of things you'll notice. One is that it's kind of embedded into the land at the moment. So we need to move that up, obviously, don't we? A couple of ways we can do that uh, in Lumion. We've basically got to get to this little control and use the change height. And just bring it up so it's above the land a little bit here. And then when we look at our terrain, we might go, oh, you know, this doesn't look too, um, I guess, organic. So we could quickly do a bit of terrain modeling in here. Just too easy in Lumion to get something that looks nice. And, and uh, basically working with the Revit terrain that we've brought in. Now, one thing we'll notice straight away is, oh, this grass doesn't really match the grass here in Lumion. And that's where the live sync add-in starts to come into its own. Because basically, there's a link now between any material editing we do in Revit and Lumion. So if we click here and we want to change the grass type, we go into the Asset Browser, look for a different type of grass, and let's use the thick grass here. We've just replaced that asset now. As you can see, OK. Now already it looks much nicer, doesn't it? It looks much simil more similar. And we can change um, some things about the grass in, in Lumion, as you probably know. Uh, you can have actual grass showing, which straight away makes your scene look more organic. Though. What, what we've already seen is how quickly Live Sync works, bringing the model in, and also how material updates can occur. But what about um, modifying the model a little bit? Well, let's go and have a look over here at our kitchen. So look at our kitchen, we've got glass kind of up, this bench, up against this bench top. Not really going to work. So what we want to do is go in Revit and we'll add a basically a, a curtain wall grid along here it's for some kind of splashback. About there. So we've added a model here in Revit, and as you can see, it straight away pops up over here in Lumion. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll change some materials here. Maybe we'll make this like a color back type glass here. You can use some of your um, kind of temporary view tools, which won't impact on the uh, Lumion scene. We we'll duplicate this. Maybe make a different type of glass. So let's duplicate the glass there. Change the appearance maybe for a bronzed 
top glass in the lower panel. Okay, so we've got this new glass type that we've brought in, shows up here in Revit, and straight away shows up in Lumion. So uh, really how nice is that, how quickly uh, that works. While we're at it, while we're going, we can add a bit of landscaping in. Of course, as with anything in Lumion, just so, so quick to populate the scene. And so we could go ahead and uh, make some of those changes here in Revit, maybe to make it look a bit more consistent. And it, it connects more tightly with the Revit Material Editor. And a lot of these different settings in here are now uh, supported that uh, were a little bit of a challenge before. So we can change the color, straight away changes. And you know, we're starting to see how powerful that is, uh, really. So let's do a little bit of model changing now. So, you know, something really basic might be, oh, we're just going to nudge a chair. I'll tap select this chair, I'm just going to nudge it around and it's changing in Lumion at the same time. What about something a little bit more advanced? What about split face on this wall here? So we need modify menu for that, don't we? Split face on this wall. Maybe something like this. Could this be, could be some timber panelling, let's say. So now, um, need the paint tool for that. Paint. Find something that looks like timber. Start with this. And we've added a timber panel to the wall, obviously. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, we've got a live link now to Revit that allows us to move things around to change our model. Um, but of course, at the same time, we're in Lumion, so we can start adding things like uh, people direct, directly into our scene really, really easily. Spin him around. Um, again, because we're in Lumion with all of the nice terrain tools that we have, we could add a section perhaps of water. A bit of a marshland here. You know, all the other really nice stuff, which is, um, you know, vehicles, things like that. So we get some cars, perhaps, sports cars over here. As you can see, it's picking up, you know, the right height uh, for that object. Okay, what else can we do? Well, we could we can make a more drastic change to our model. Um, what would be a good one? Perhaps we decide to delete these wind farming devices completely, and they're immediately gone. Or perhaps we want to add some more roof windows. Basically, you have to allow Revit to uh, kind of commit that change sometimes. We may have to get out of a command or close the material dialog or something to make the change actually happen. Now, of course, you know, we've, we've done a bit of work here in Revit and we've done a bit of work in Lumion. Um, there's a whole bunch of other entourage we could use course, things uh, maybe for more exterior indoor. And then you can straight away start making uh, images. You know, we can get to the exact right view that we want of our building and our site. Take a snapshot image, export a render. We could um, take a video the same way, just by basically um, recording video really easily um, and we can also go ahead and export to VR or to MyLumion 
Um, so it's really, really powerful tool. Uh, I really think it's made the whole workflow between Revit and Lumion so much better and something you should definitely check out as soon as you can by getting the trial and the new add-in.